Peace and light. Herbert Robert William Hennis here, a.k.a. Owen Reed. Go to my YouTube channel at Old Guy Australia. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and uh, you'll know when I'm going to release something. Isn't that great? I thought it's a good saying it, but anyway. Now, I told you I'd give you a little video, just a short video on a couple of things, uh, some information that you might want to... Um, you know, be able to use. Now, look, I know there's a million links out there. I've been through them all. Well, not all, most of them, you know what I mean. But I've, I've gone through about 3,000 to get this one done. And I've been not wanting to do it because there's so much involved in doing it. And in, I was doing my head in trying to get this done. And I've been challenged by a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, just to put something together really quickly just so that they could use it. Now, I know I, I, it sounds kind of conspiratorial, but those who know, know. I'm not going to post links, so I've written things out. I'm just not going to post links. I've already had warnings. I've had 30-day bans, week bans, day bans, 24-hour bans, bans. I've been banned for being banned, you know. It's like So I've had enough. If you're going to keep doing this, you've got to be able to reach people. And I'm an amateur. You guys can do all this. I'm 63. I can do this, you know. So I'm going to give you some links, right? I've got a desktop. You've got a laptop, whatever you got. Set your camera up. I've got a little tripod. Set your camera up and film parts of what you find in these documentaries or these articles. Film it. That way it removes the, the uh, URL and it avoids their algorithms and social media can't ban them unless they're reported. So this is how you get information out. Right? I can do it. You can do it. Pretty simple. Okay? That's how it works. So I'm going to do this very, very quickly. I know, look, and I know there's hundreds of these, there's some a lot better, probably, whatever, but these are ones that I personally think uh, give me the best insight into it. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, because I've divided into three categories, yeah, origins, current situation, the end, okay? This is origin. Now, I'm going to hold it up, I'm going to pull it back, forgive my writing, take a screenshot, right? Or hit pause if you want to, take a screenshot. Now, the first thing you need to do is have a BitChute account. I don't even like saying it, but you've got to have one. If you've got one, that's fine. Most of us have. Most of us have. But if you haven't, get one. It's free. Sign up. Right? Tell your friends. Sign up. You can't. There's no, you don't know how many people you would send these to, and they go to access it, and they can't. They just ignore it, and you think they've watched it, and they haven't because they haven't got an account. You've got to tell them. Get a BitChute account. You've got to. So I'm going to hold this up, back off. I'm going to hide my ugly little head while this disappears. Have a look at it. Take a screenshot. This is the origins. Now, the first one here is actually the second documentary in this series. But I think if you watch this one first, you'll know what I'm saying, and then have a plan to go back and watch the other part of the demic as a second one you may get a bit more out of it because this one goes right into the origins beautifully. Right, here we go. I'm going to hold it up. Ready? Get ready to screenshot. There it is. Right? Done. That's how simple that was. Now, the second one is the current situation. And like I said, there's plenty of these around. These are just two. Not going to mention any names because even the mere mention of the names, you'll get your ban. But they're brilliant. They're brilliant. Again, just film the bits that you want to, that you think are important, and then you can post them. Ready? Boom. And this is my favourite, the end. Well, it's not my favourite, because to get to this, we've got to go through a hell of a lot of darkness. There's a lot of hell to go through. To get to this, we have to go through it. But, you know, this is it. You ready? Where are we? That's it. That's it. Now, you know, I like to give hope. I really do. And I know that we win in the end. And I know I'm not going to make it. I, I know like I know like I know. I don't, I don't want sympathy. I just, I've, I've had my own epiphany. I've had my own revelation. And uh, I've come to terms with that fact. 
and I know that when we go through this, I won't be one of the ones that make it out the other side. And that's just how it is. And I'm willing to I'm willing to go through this because um, none of us want to be right. I even hate the term conspiracy theorist because that's just someone who speaks against the narrative. That's all they are. Someone who speaks against the narrative. That's that's all that is. So now we've got all this new legislation coming in right around Australia, probably around the world, on misinformation. That's the latest little catchphrase. And these laws are being passed in all of the states around Australia. They're already currently in place in Victoria under Premier Comrade Dan. And we saw what happened to Monica Smith the other month. These legislations with facial recognition technology, um, algorithms that are set to catch, police departments set up specifically to catch people, you know, and have them arrested, charged, jailed for saying things against the narrative and particularly against the government. I mean, if you don't know what communism is, just do this. Open your freaking eyes. Open your eyes. Coming to the shores here, communists, widow, child bride, I should say, socialism, about to un erupt here in Australia. Well, it is already here. And if you, like me, live in a sleepy little town, a little village on the, on the coast or whatever it might be, inland, whatever new thing, none of this applies to you, then you're dead right. It doesn't until it does. And then when it does, it's too late. There's nothing you'll be able to do about it once it happens. And you just go about having your barbecue and paying your bloody electricity bill and doing your job and washing your car and whatever else. And then there'll come a day when suddenly you'll realise that the world's overtaken you and you should have listened. You should have taken notice. Anyway, I love you all. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, as I said, they're not the be-all, end-all. I'm not the benchmark. That's just information that I know contains everything you need to know in a very basic way about what's happened, what's happening, and what's going to come. Peace and light. Love you all. Thank you.